Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There are many issues that face America that are of great importance, from the Iraq War to global warming. And these must be dealt with. They are global issues, and we have lacked the leadership through this administration to make the world proud of America and see us as a leader on such issues. On Wednesday, this House will vote on a stem cell bill, embryonic stem cell research sent from the Senate, which the President has threatened to veto. I don't think there is a more important bill that this House could pass and send to the President and for the President to allow to become law than embryonic stem cell research. If you or anybody in your family, Mr. Speaker, had Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, a spinal cord injury, cancer, stroke, burns, heart disease, diabetes, osteoarthritis, or rheumatoid arthritis, you could have relief and possibly a cure for that illness because of stem, embryonic stem cell research. America could reestablish its itself as a country that has the best scientific research and provides the world with hope for cures to these catastrophic illnesses. Last night in the Republican debate, one of the candidates said we need to find a cure for cancer. He's right. And the way to do it is through embryonic stem cell research. I would urge this House to pass the bill, and I would urge the President to have the courage to do the right thing, to be pro-life and extend life for people on this planet. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Gentlemen's time has expired.